ndipo tumelipokea oh, lakini hata hivyo utabaki kuwa Mungu utabaki utabaki kuwa Mungu oh, oh ni wewe mwenye Mungu liyeumba ukaruhusu watu toke mpendo wetu oh bwana Jina lako litukuzwe libalikiwe milele milele twakushukuru kwa yote e bwana oh oh mepo mfano bora mazuri umeyafanya nira umetonyesha oh ya kwa macho ya tirika Popote tulipo kipo Tumombe Mungu atulinde yeah, yeah. Hakuna juae muda na saa ya kuondoka Tuliobaki tujilinde tujitakase tujitengeneze Taifa linakulilia <laughs> Kanisa Lina kulilia familia inaomboleza penda vita umeimaliza simanzi simetawa melala kama tamka hivi ni kweli umeondoka umetuacha kama machozi yangeweza kukwamsha leo ngele Kweli kweli tutaona na Mungu akiona tutaona naye tutaona naye
Tukikosa kuwa waminifu, yeye kubaki waminifu daima, maana yeye amesae kujikana mwenyewe. Maana mungu aliupenda ulimwengu hivi, hata akamchoa mwanawake wa peke, ila kila amuamini yao asipote, bali awe na uhai wa milele, basi kwa vile watoto hao, Kama kwa itabio ni watu wenye mwili na damu. Yesu mwenyewe akawa kama wao na kusibiki kibi na damu wao. Natu wame. Mwenyezi mungu bago ito wabimburi kwa nisifu jina lako leo. Tunapinua kwa ima wako na waminifu wako. Na kushukuru kwa sababu ya matendo ya kwa mayo kwetu ni makubwa sana. Na tunakushukuru kwa sababu maisha yetu mwomu ya kwa mkononi mwako Na kama vile neno lako nandio sema katika zaburi Kwa zina samba na mstari wa hai shirina tatu Ya kuamba hatu waza mwenye haki zina mkwazo na yewe mwana Na kushukuru kwa sababu ya siku hii Amwe mwana umetuleta katika kikao hiki na ili tuweze Kwe utafakari uwe mawako na mzuri wako 
na hata zaidi ya wote kufariji jamii ya mtendo wetu wa Chiku. Tunapenda kuomba wakati ambao utakuwa hapa tunakuwa miongoni mwetu ya Bwana tutatubariki kwa maana tunaomba hapa Yesu Kristo bado yeye. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise the Lord. Kwa niaba ya mchungaji Samuel Thairo ambaye pia yuko hapa Parishia St Ambrose ningependa kuwakaribisha sana katika ibada yetu ya siku ya leo. Na tutaungana kuimba wimbo ambao unasema cha kutumaini mimi sina ile damu yake Yesu sina wema wa kutosha dhambi zangu kuziosha tunapoanza ibada yetu ya mazishi cha kutumaini sina ila damu yake Yesu sina wema wa kutosha dhambi zangu kuziosha kwa Yesu nasimama Mwamba ni salama ndiye mwamba ni salama ndiye mwamba ni salama njia yangu iwe ndefu yeye unipa wokovu mawi yakini piga angu za keni zona na kwa ke Yesu nasimama mama ni salama ndiye mwamba ni salama ndiye mwamba ni salama damu yake na sadaka na tegemea daima yote chini ya kisha mzili atanitosha na kwake Yesu nasimama ndiye mwamba ni salama ndiye mwamba ni salama ndiye mwamba ni salama nikitoa hukumu ni nini nama ni nikivi kwa haki yake sina tumele zake kwake Yesu nasimama mwamba ni salama kwa Yesu ndiye mwamba ni salama Yesu ndiye mani sala na kwake Yesu nasimama mwamba ni salama ndiye mwamba salama ndiye mwamba ni salama ne kore forori mwega ma Shemania na netoka ina nyemojega iria sha Tomo 
Tumekusanyika hapa wapendwa ili kulaza mwili wa Samuel Mwangi wa Njiko ambaye Bwana amemwita kwake. Tukiamini ya kwamba ku, kwa kuwa Yesu alikufa na akafufuka tena ndivyo itakavyokuwa kwa wale wote wanaokufa katika Kristo kwa ni Mungu atawafufua pamoja na Kristo. Tafadhali ketini tuombe. Baba wa mbinguni katika mwanao Yesu Kristo Umetupatia tuma imani ya kweli na tumaini la hakika. Imarisha imani hii na tumaini lililondani yetu siku zetu zote. Ili tuweze kuishi kama wale wanaoamini ushiriko wa takatifu msamao wa dhambi na fufua maisha ya milele kwa Yesu Kristo bwana wetu. Kila kitu kina majira yake na kila jambo duniani lina wakati wake. Wakati wa kuzaliwa na wakati wa kufa. Wakati wa kupanda na wakati wa kuvuna kilichopandwa wakati wa kuua na wakati wa kuponya wakati wa kubomoa na wakati wa kujenga wakati wa kulia na wakati wa kucheka wakati wa kuomboleza na wakati wa kucheza wakati wa kutupa mawe na wakati wa kuyakusanya mawe pamoja wakati wa kukumbatia na wakati wa kuacha kukumbatia wakati wa kutafuta na wakati wa kupoteza wakati wa kuhifadhi na wakati wa kutupa wakati wa kurarua na wakati wa kushona wakati wa kukaa kimya na wakati wa kuongea ningewauliza wote tusimame ili tuweze kusoma wazaburi tusome saburi ya 39 i said i will watch my ways and keep my tongue from sin i will put news on my mouth as long as the weekend are in my presence but when i was silenced and still not even saying anything good my anguish increased my heart grew hot within me and as i meditate the fire burned then i spoke with my tongue so me o oh lord my life's end and the number of my days let me know how fleeting is my life you have made my days a mere hard breath the span of my years is at nothing before you each man's life is but but a breath man is mere platon as he goes and fro the blast of my about my but only in vain he heaps up wealth not knowing who will get it but now lord what do i look for my hope is in you save me from all my transgression do not make me the scorn of fools i will silence i will not open my mouth for you are the one who has done this remove your scorn from me i am every I am overcome by the blow of your hand. You rebuke and discipline me for their their sin. You consume the world like a moth. Each man is but bread. Hear my prayer, O Lord. Listen to my cry for help. Be not deaf to my weeping, for I dwell with you as an island a stranger as all my fathers were look away from me that i may rejoice again before i depart and am no more glory to the father and to the son and the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and shall be amen
ili tuweze kusomoa somo katika program zetu kuna wimbo ambao unasema mwamba mwenye imara kwako mimi ndajificha mwamba mwenye imara kwako ndajificha mwamba mwenye imara kwako nitajificha maji hayo na damu yaliyotoka humu Huni safi na dambi Hunifanya mshindi Kwa kazi zote pia Siti mizi sheria Nijapo fanya bidi Nikilia na kuthi Haya ishi makosa Diwe waku okoa Sina cha mkono ni Na jam salabani Nilitupu ni vike Ni mnyonge ni shike Nilim chafu na ja Ni yoshe ni si jafa Ni kungo ja pochi ni na kwenda kaburi ni ni pa pombingu ni na kuko na enzi ni royo yangu na iwe rahani mwako iwe tafadhali ketini litweze kusomwa somo. John 2 From inside the fish John prayed to the Lord His God He said In my distress I called to the Lord And He answered me From the depth of the grave I called for help And He listened to my cry You hung me into You hung me into the deep into the very heart of the sea and see the current sword about me. All your waves and breakers swept over me. I said, I have been banished from your sight. Yet I will look again towards your holy table. The engraved water threatened me. The deep surrounded me. Swept was lapped around my head. To the root of my mountain I sat down. The earth beneath buried me in forever, but you brought my life up from the pit. O oh Lord my God, when my life was ebbing away, I remembered you, Lord, and my prayer rose to you, to your holy table. Those who clink and worthless idol forfeit the grace that could be there, but I with a song of thanksgiving, with sacrifice to you, what I have found, I will make good. Salvation come from the Lord. And the Lord commanded the fish, and it vomited Jonah into a dry land. And this is the word of the Lord. Asante sana. Wakati huu ningetaka kuuliza kama mwenje wa aje ili aweze kutukaribisha na kisha baada ya hiyo yule ambaye anatuzomea eulogy atakuwa tayari. Kama huu mwenje wa. Thank you. The clergy, officers from NYS, mshiriwa mwagi, wajiko, shoshoa mwagi, na aliyo the moki, the muriega. Muriega ligi. Then, uh, I'm taking this opportunity to welcome you to this sad occasion. Feel free, feel at peace, so that we fare goodbye to this young man who has left us, Kaliboni Sana. Barizeno, Mindyo Jaflet, Makare. I'm so a tribute in English. Eulogy for the late Samuel Mwangi Wanjiko, Bad. 
The late Samuel Mwangi Wanjiko was born on 20th November 2008, Muiriko Village, Clay City Ward, Kasarani constituency in Nairobi County. He was the only child to Tabitha Wanjiko and the late Charles Mwangi. Church. The late Samuel Mwangi became a committed member of St. Gertrude ACK Church when he got baptized, baptized in year 2010. He participated and worked together with the congregation. Education. The late Samuel Mwangi joined Westlink Dekke Nursery School in the year 2003. In 2006, he joined St. Matthew Primary School and sat for his KCPA exam in 2014. The late Mwangi joined Clay City Secondary School in the year 2015 and transferred to Kareti Secondary School in Moranga County. Here he sat for his KCSC exam in 2018. He joined Kimadi Technical College in 2019, where he was an exemplary student and friend to many. He was later enrolled to NYS Gilgil Campus and later NYS Kerio Valley, where he was still, where he was still his demise. He performed well, maintained friendships, and lived peacefully with everyone he engaged with. Sickness and demise. The late Samuel Mwangi was of good health in his entire life. On the 14th day of July 2022, the late Mwangi was involved in a tragic road accident along the Nairobi Nakuru Highway and lost his life. We loved you dearly with all our hearts, but God loved you more. Ide goro ya koana ho ni jega goti de ke do ke ga ige ho ya jage todo e mo he ani wai chio de jega na ne kio goro ya ko. Yutu getaka kusikia wasemaji Wanenaji wa, wa, wa chacha wa kitu ungelesha Na ndamuliza MC ya karibi hapa ili ya weza kuwapati ya furusa hiyo Asanti Abari zenyu uh, Thank you Na hitu MC Gishane Na nimesimama hapa ili niweze kukaribisha wanenaji So tutaenda kuligana program Tutaanza na mtu wa familia Ambaya na hitu wa Nereson Gakahu Alafu tutuangresha na friends wako wawiri Kuna moja friend of family Na mwingine na represent friends of Mwangi Kwa hivyo Haundi watakuwa pili Then tukona administration Kama wako tayari kama wako Although hapo naeza kuachia mchugaji Ndiyo at least tunaeza waita Kwa hivyo hapo nita kuachia Then Kuna mtu watatu ambaye atakuwa represent kanisa Haa Mrs. Gashane, Maria, hapa tafadhali. And all friends and family, we want to tell you thank you for coming to join hearts with the, this family of Wajiko. For we know when you commit yourself, when you sacrifice your time to be with those who are mourning, God will bless you so much. Uh, mi nimesimama hapa kwa niamba ya malafiki wa mama Mwangi. Uh, tumekuwa na mama Mwangi kwa muda mrefu sana sana. Sasa hiyo Mwangi alikuwa katoto kadogo sana. Labda mwaka moja ama miaka mbili. Na tumekuwa pamoja kwa kanisa ya St. Gertrude before St. Bruce was born. Uh, tumekuwa pamoja kwa fellowship inaitwa Mwiriko Fellowship tulikuwa tukitembelea kila mtu tulikuwa tunakaa kama watu wa standard moja akugejua nani ako na nani hana sababu tulikuwa tumeweka urafiki wetu e, tukiongozwa na Yesu 
na tulijua uh, bila Yesu hatuwezi kaa pamoja kama marafiki nataka kusema bila tumejua an i mean wanjiko tabida eh, tumekuwa pamoja naye na ni mtu msuri kabisa nataka kusema hana hana ubaya na mtu ni mtu wa furaha sana wale wamemuona kwa hizo siku kidogo wanajua ni mtu wa furaha sana na vile amepoteza mtoto wake it's very unfortunate i actually don't know what to say because losing a loved one it is the worst thing in the world but god will comfort you that's all what i can say mungu akuwe naye sababu ni yeye tu anaweza kumpatia ile amani anahitaji wakati huu nataka kusema sisi wote tuko hapa na wale tulikuwa mwanzoni na, na yeye tumushikilie kabisa tumushikilie na dio uh, mungu ampende uh, amani na ampatie ampatie uh, healing haraka because healing hiyo itatoka kwa mungu haiwezi toka kwa sisi lakini tukiwa karibu na yeye mungu atatenda mazuri nataka kusema nifikishe hapo maana hii si wakati wa furaha kuhusu mtoto it's painful and god bless you so much thank you very much nataka mtu anaitwa Ruse Wanjiru ambaye Ruse Wanjiru ambaye na represent Friends of Mwangi Ruse Wanjiru ambaye na represent Friends of Mwangi tafadhali au oh, nimemuona anakuja karibu ili uweze kukuja na utoe speech yako na itakuwa mzuri Habari zenu Habari zenu sana kwa majina naitwa Lucy Wanjiku. Na nimesimama hapa juu. Mwangie alikuwa brother wangu. Na ni mtu nimejua kutoka. Tukoe wadogo. Tulisomea tulisoma wrestling pamoja. So, tulisoma wrestling pamoja. Na tuki grow English kujua ni tu. Ni kabla ni brother wangu in short. Juu Wanjiku mama yake angenunua kitu hadi wa leo. Yeye pia wala tunulia pamoja. So I remember kuna time tulikuwa tunaongea na yeye si jusi si tuliama kutoka Mwerigo hadi Mwetevie so tunasema since to be kuna distance si tutakuja tuishi mimi kidogo Mwetevie kidogo ndio tusifilie kwa distance venye ameenda bila kukuja ndio sijaelewa I love you dear the other thing <laughs> kuna zile tulikuwa tunafanya za ujanja nzuri yani ametoa sana memories so nakumbuka ingine tukiwa mazishi ya rafiki yetu Johnny tukiplan venye atarudi shule isn't one of <laughs> behaviors yenye tulifanya zile <laughs> as bambi but nashukuru tu Mungu kwa hizo time yani tupea na Mungu ata because she's still our mother <laughs> and will forever have more in our hearts uh, thank you na muendele ku jipa nguvu nataka kuita mtu anaitwa Anthony ambaye ana represent kanisa Anthony tafadhali mahali huko please the lord bwana yesu asifiwe uh, kanisa na maofisa wa kutoka NYS na wale wamekuja kuopeleza rafiki yetu hamjambo hamjambo tena uh, kwa majina ni vile mmesikia naitwa Anthony Muridi na represent kanisa yetu ya St Ambrose pale Kasarani ambapo our sister Tabitha Wanjiko na Abudu na sisi na tunataka kuleta labda zetu kwa hii familia tunajua sio jambo rahisi kwa hii jamii lakini tunaomba Mungu azidi kuwa fariji na azidi kuwapa nguvu huyu kijana ni mtu najua sana hata siku za mwisho mwisho diende aende shule mahali alikuwa amekuja attachment ya mechanic 
alinitengenezea gari hata ile siku akisafiri wakiwa na jamaa wake wa motorbike mimi nilewaona na ni jambo la kuzudisha sana kwa sababu ni kijana alikuwa kijana mzuri kijana mpoa sana kwa sababu ni wakati wa siasa tulikuwa tunaitana na yeye wajakoya and he was a good man na si jamaa mugebishana na yeye ni kijana alikuwa jamaa mzuri hata yule mtu alimkuwa anamfundisha kazi ya mechanic aliniambia ni jamaa ukimtuma kitu alikuwa na cooperative vizuri sana so he's a good man na tunamboa tushamfungua asafiri salama na mama yake yazidi kujipatia nguvu na tutakushikiria kama kanisa ya St Ambrose na Mungu azidi kuwabariki asante uh, sana sana uh, nataka kuchukua fursa hii nirudishie chugaji kwa sababu ya administration hiyo kama wako aweze kutuguide vile watafanya na itakuwa jambo mzuri asante, asante sana MC Mwenyezi Mungu akubariki Uh, ningependa kuuliza kama tuko na chief ama assistant chief ambaye amekuja kuomboleza pamoja nasi juu kama tuko naye miongoni mwetu ningekuomba tafadhali usimame tafadhali jioni hapa mbele wale ambao wanawania nyato mbalimbali jioni hapa mbele na leo nimekuja kuungana na nyinyi kwa sababu wangi mwenye nilikuwa namjua nimeona akikua nasikia ufungu wa mama yake kwamba kupoteza ua lake mimi kama mtoto wa kipekee atastaki kuamini venye anaweza kuwa kisikia na naomba Mungu ampatie nguvu amshikilie na ampatie imani kwamba matendo ya Mungu Uh, a to question wale wote tumekuwa nao na saa hii sikuwe mwisho ya kumshikiria najua watu wengi sana wakati tumemaliza wanasemanga atumemaliza lakini she needs us more than ever na najua tunasemanga ya kwamba atinitakuwa na kuja kukuangalia lakini unakuta hatujatiki hiyo register ningeomba hii wakati tu tuweze kwenda kumuangalia ndiyo asikuwe na hiyo upweke. So na mimi pia naomba kura ya kreseti kama MCA asanteni. Thank you very much. Tuko live on YouTube. Kwa hivyo ni vizuri ndio unaona tunaambia mtu aangalie pale. Si sawa sawa? Asante. Leria wanyo nirie koya teda kelire da menya kore fata kwa kwa igoro de kore ga yo yua la modo kito botu ra ya du kito botu ra ya du geta bwana esa sifiwe Uh, wakati huu tunataka kuuliza watu wa Bethlehem waje na ili wamtukuze Mungu na wimbo mmoja mahali ambapo Shiko ana fellowship katika kanisa letu la St Ambrose
ni vizuri kina mtu atamani kuingia huko kuna wale watu ambao wako na tributes ningewaomba waje hapa those of us who are having tributes uh, to our late son Samuel tafadhali njoni kama unajua uko na tribute ningekuomba uje hapa tafadhali njoni wale wote ambao wanasoma tributes naona kuna mmoja kutoka kwa mam yule anasoma karibia kuna nyingine kutoka kwa anti yule anasoma karibie tafadhali njoni nyote hapa Please God church. God is good. I know the time. Uh, my name is Lois. My name is Lois Wajilo and I love Jesus Christ as my personal savior. Standing in front of you, I'm going to lead tribute to our mom Wanjiko. And I lead my son, my king, it's hard to believe that you are no more. How can I put what I feel in words? I missed you yesterday. I miss you today. I miss you all the time. Now, I stand here today with broken hearts, asking 101 questions. Why, why, why? My only son, my king, my first fruit of my womb, my comforter. Why, why, why? The loss of Mwash is something I could have never prepared for. I wasn't ready. I'm still not ready. He had so many dreams and so many plans for future. He would have made. He had so many dreams, so many plans for future. He would have made those dreams come true and achieve his goal of being proud of mom and himself. Now I know why you always told me to be strong, ladder mom. You, you knew that one day I would need the strength to bear your loss. Life isn't about waiting for the storm to pass. This is the lesson learned from my son Mwangi during his short life. My son lived his life in his terms. He listened, respect, and obeyed. He was a free spirit who lived in the present and ag again on his terms. He was a dreamer. He had he, uh, he was a leader and had uh, followers. He could enter a room and brighten it with a smile. His attitude and strong presence taught him credit that made all his friends easily and easy. He was true to each and every one and make them happy. Mwaj, Mwaj, my king. I'm proud, proud of you, my king. I love you with all my heart. I am your best mom. I will continue seeking peace. As from you, as for you, you it. I will miss your entertainment and jokes. You give me the reason to wake up every day and work hard, and you promise that one day you would take care of me and I would rest from all the work I had. You wouldn't tell me, Mom, ladder to chesa kama wewe, Mom. It's hard to say goodbye to the one person who means the world to me. I hope every day, and you will be coming back to me. With all those 
special memory of you. Of you, you will also bring a smile. If only I could have you back for just a little while, then we could sit and talk again, just like we used to do. You always mean everything, much for me, and always will do so. The fact that you are no longer here, you will always cause me pain, but you are forever in my heart. Till we meet again, dear son, those who live everything in God's heart will eventually see God's heart in everything. Lest in peace, peace, my king, watch, my king, rest in peace, bye bye. Apart, I'm Christopher Gavendo. God is my personal savior. I love God. Because, tenda na nipeanga ngufu. Tenda kila kitu mungu. Najua kuna wakati mungu. And anaeza kuwachiria. Tenda na tupatianga ngufu. And a part of us, a part of us dead. When we perform. Hold on. A part of dead when you did more. Sister Soma, what can you say? Mungu, nanalindaka kila kitu. Mungu na matupata nisha na matupatia nguvu. Masa metuwaja. Mam, chukua nguvu. NYS, ama soja. Tumetrain, alitrain, atafuta nguvu. God, tupatia nguvu. Tumekubali. Rest in peace, mas. Fellow soja. Rest in peace. The clergy, the NYS officers, Chico, Tata, friends, family, praise the Lord. My name is Mukami, and Mwangi is and was my nephew. I'm going to read a tribute on behalf of my sister, Masi. Karo Masi and Moas shared a very special bond and she's not here with us. So she asked me to read her tribute. It breaks my heart to write this tribute, Mwangi, my nephew. For some reason, we connected so well from when we were young. I watched you grow and we have walked the journey together. You were like a son to me. I loved how focused you were, determined to succeed against all odds. Your mom was your motivation to succeed. It's sad that we won't see your dreams come, come to pass, but we are encouraged that you had such pure intentions for life. You called me and sent me messages as often as you could. You were a good child, Mwangi, and I miss you. May your dear soul rest in peace. We have an anchor that keeps the soul steadfast and sure while the billows roll. Fast and to the rock which cannot move, grounded firm and deep. In the Savior's love. Amen. That number kwamba that anchor is going to hold and sustain Wanjiko and the entire family as they keep mourning and grieving the loss of their son. Amen. Na sante sana kwa wale wote ambao wametusomea tribute. Na mimi sijui tribute yako itasomwa vipi. Hebu uliza jirani yako of tribute yako itasomwa vipi. Kuna mzee mmoja ambaye alikuwa anaitwa Njero. Alikuwa anaitwa nani? Na wakati Njero alikufa, bibi yake akapewa microphone aongee. Akasema Jerokuwa no kuerege. Kwa sababu ya vile ma, yale mambo ambayo Njero alikuwa amefanya nini? Amemuonyesha katika ulimwengu huu. Sijui kama utaambiwa kuwa no kuerege kwa wale ambao hawaelewi kikuyu nikisema kufa na ukufe tena kwa sababu ya yale maisha ambayo Njero alikuwa anayaishi hapa. Tunashukuru Mungu kwa sababu ya officers wetu wa NYS ambao wanasaidia vijana wetu sana 
na asanteni sana kwa kuja kujumuika pamoja nasi tunashukuru na tunasikia kama tumeheshimika sana kuwa nasi nanyi miongoni mwetu ningetaka kuuliza inspector uh, aje tanui inspector tanui aje na ili aweze kutuhutubia na pia kuwaalika maybe wasemaji wachache ambao wataongea kwa niamba ya NOS karibu sana inspector na tukimaliza watu wa St Ambrose kanisa mwe mnajitayarisha na arifiwa kwa mamuka na wimbo God is good and all the time sijini anzie wapi na sijini malizie wapi but uh, kabla niseme chochote wacha niite yule kijana ambaye ameshindwa kuongea yule soja naomba ukuje hapa tafadhali naomba tu aje aseme kitu he has a lot to say They say soldiers never die, but soldiers only rest. So we usually take a rest. <laughs> yes. Well, we talk about Mungu ni kila kitu Mungu ndio anatulinda Mungu Mungu lazima asipale pema Thank you uh, I just did that because uh, we as the NYS family we have really lost a gallant soldier a young lad a soldier who was on a mission to accomplish the impossibilities but uh, the cruel hand of death uh, has robbed us, one of us. We work as a family, we work as a team to make sure that the youth of this country uh, become people who have visions so that they can pursue their goals and achieve them. So from where I sit, uh, first of all, I want to send my personal deepest condolences to the family. Kwa mama, pole sana mama. God be with you. God will comfort you. And indeed, God will take care of you. Mwas, let Mwas rest in peace. Tumekwa na kwanzia juzi. Na can see you are determined woman. Please may God give you strength to overcome this. Um, these are, I stand before you this day, a sad man, a sad officer from the National Service, because we've lost one of us, and uh, with due respect, I've been a trainer for so many years in Gilgil, and perhaps Mwas might have crossed, Labda uh, Patana and I Lazma because I can look at that face, that smiling face. Lazima to me participate na ema kwa njia moja ama nyingine. But I just want to say pole kwa familia. I stand here to represent my Director General and the entire NYS fraternity to bring condolences na kusema pole kwa familia, kwa kanisa na kwa vijana wa huduma ya taifa I just before I read this uh, message from my boss I have one word and uh, this ni sema wacha niombe wazazi wale tuko hapa wazazi wale tuko hapa wazazi mko tunapata na wazazi hebu inua mikono wazazi mama inua mkono tafadhali sana baba inua mkono 
there is one major problem in this country and that we cannot shy away from it. The use of our roads. Mimi in matanga karibu siji angapi nikienda kuzika kijana ambaye meusika kwa ajali. Tafadhali, I beseech you. I kindly request you. At any given time, when you are using the road, either you are pedestrian, either you are motorist, either kwa hile nje yote, please mind, mind other road users. Muna nishika kweli, muna nipata vizuri, tumepoteza watu wengi sana kwa sababu ya barabara. I am saying so because Mwangi from this eulogy, it has been written that he sustained injuries caused by an accident. We know accidents are not planned. They may occur. But let practice cautious. Let us be very cautious when we are on our roads. Ningeomba wane vijana anendeshe piki piki. Hata mmeona tu wengine hapa. Siku maona na macho. Tafadhali. Sisi ni wazazi tuwaongeleshe. Tuwaongeleshe. Hii piki piki wewe ndio body. Hata hii gari kuna wakati itafika wewe kwa body. So tumia barabara vizuri. Control distance uh, speed. Now mind other road users. Amen. Wacha hiyo ni wachi hapo. Um, I'm going to read this uh, message of condolence. It was written on 21st July 2022. Uh, message of condolence to Mama Mwas. We have learned with profound shock and sadness of the sudden death of your son, Samuel Mwangi. Service number 181A887, which occurred on 15th July 2022, while traveling back to the camp after completion of his official pass. Samuel joined the National Service on 28th June 2019 as a volunteer serviceman. Upon his completion of the mandatory paramilitary training program at our NYS Gilgil College, he was posted to Tumaini Field Unit for the National Service Program. Later, he joined uh, NYS Kerio Valley School of Construction, where he was undertaking planned mechanic course. We have known Samuel as a committed and dedicated member of the service, who was always committed to achieving his lifetime dreams. It is unfortunate that the cruel hand of death has robbed the service of a young, energetic, and hardworking person who still had a lot to accomplish during his lifetime. He will be certainly missed by both his peers, colleagues, supervisors, and the entire National Youth Service family. On behalf of the service fraternity, and on my own behalf, I would like to convey my deepest condolence to you, the family, and the entire community following this unfortunate demise, and pray that our Almighty God grants you sufficient strength to bear the loss. May the Almighty God rest his soul in eternal peace. Yours faithfully, James Gishaba Osiemo, Assistant Director, for Director General and Chief Executive Officer, National Service. Thank you very much. That was a brief message from our Director General following the demise of our beloved young man. So, Kuhayo Mengi, Nasema Pole, Polini, Tutashikana Mkono Pole Pole, na Tutaombea Familia. Kanisa Musia Chilie, Nimesikia Mama, ni Wakanisa. Wa Mama Wakiwa na Imani, Inchi na Pona. Najua Sisi Sazingine Tunayenda Vita. Lakini Mama Anapaki Nyumbani Akichunga Watoto. So mutuombe. Asante ni sana and God bless you. Thank you. Amen. Asante ni sana NOS. Mwenyezi Mungu wa Bariki. Senta Ambrose Ndioni ili muweze kumtukuza Mungu na wimbo.
kila wakati Mungu anabaki kuwa Mungu na tunashukuru Mungu kwa sababu ya uaminifu wake na tunaomba kila mmoja wetu aendelee kumtumainia Bwana ningetaka kuuliza Larry da wetu Helen na Salimiane na pia peane uh, maombi yake kwa hijamii Bwana Yesu asifiwe kwa jina kama mmesikia ni Helen Kitao ni mimi ni Ray Lida tunafanya kazi na mchungaji Reverend Samuel Bairo katika kanisa ya St Ambrose pahari mama ya Mwangi ana hudumu na ningetaka kuleta rabilambi zangu familia yangu kwa familia hiyo tumekuwa nayo mkuu na hiyo familia tangu hii ma, mambo ilifanyika na niseme wakati mwingine na sindo na kuongea nikikumbuka bila tumelea Mwangi na mama yake hapo Moiligo nilijua Mwangi akiwa mdogo na amekuwa nikiwa na yeye nikimuona na mama yake amekuwa wakati wa wote akiniambia mama ombea Mwangi anarudi shule mama ongea obea Mwangi amekutoka shule tumekuwa hivyo na mama ya Mwangi na hata hiyo wiki mwangia amekufa tulikuwa na mama yake kwa stage ya stima na tukaongea kuhusu mwangi na nikamuliza mwangia kwa aje akaniambia mwangia anataikana arudi shule hiyo wiki na kuongea tena na shiko tuliongea saa tisa ya usiku wakati alinipigia simu akaniambia mwangia amepata accident siku anara kusema isipokuwa kuomba siku lala tena iliendelea kuomba mpaka asubuhi wakati nilimwambia afike ajue kama ni ukweli na arudi aniambie na akaniambia ni ukweli mwangia yuko kwa hivyo ah mwangini mtoto ambaye nimemjua sana hata mchukaji dhairu tulienda na yeye tukamwombea wakati alikuwa amefunjika mguu na baada ya hapo tumekuwa tukiongea mengi na mama yake na kila wakati ananiambia kumbuka mwangi kumbuka mwangi anarudi shule. Kwa hivyo ni uzuni lakini tu meona Mungu ametupatia nguvu tangu hiyo siku. Na ninataka kushukuru sana watu wote wale wamekuwa wakikuja katika hiyo kikao. Nimekuwa huko kila siku na ninawashukuru sana ni kwa sababu 
Uh, kuna mchungaji alituambia unaweza sikia mtu amepatwa na kifo alafu unaingia tu kwa Mpesa unaanza kutuma pesa hujaenda uone huyu mtu amekufiwa amekuwa namna gani wewe unatuma tu pesa unafikiria haja ya huyo mtu ni pesa saa ingine haikuangi haja ya pesa saa ingine huyo mtu akikuona hivi ndio anashikwa na nguvu lakini ukimtumia pesa na hujamuona ujui amekaa aje ujui ameshikwa aje na hiyo kifu hautajua lakini vile nimeona upendo mwingi ya watu wa mwirigo na marafiki wote wa mama shiko wa shiko na hata wale wanafanya kazi na yeye nimeshukuru sana na nimeona upendo mwingi na ninaomba tuendelee hivyo na vile tunasema tusiwasilie siku tuendelee na kurudi Tunajua pia tunasemanga tutarudi lakini wakati mwingine kwa sababu ya shughuli mingi tunaenda tunasahau. Lakini ningeomba sana tuwesidi kuangalia siku na kumuombea sana sana sana. Maombi Mungu anasikia. Na tukimuombea ndio ataendelea na kupata nguvu. Bwana wabariki sana na tumeshukuru. Asante. Asante sana Lerida Helen kwa sababu ya maneno hayo nami ningependa kuwasalimia mara tena kwa jina la Yesu Bwana Yesu asifiwe sitafadhali uniinulia mkono kama unaniona Bwana Yesu asifiwe ni vizuri kumsifu Mungu kila mara na kila wakati na neno la Mungu nasema katika Wathesalonike wa kwanza mstari wa tano am, mlango wa tano na mstari wa kumi na sita hadi kumi na nane ya kwamba tumshukuru kila Mungu kwa kila hali kwa maana yote yale yanatendeka katika maisha yetu ni mapenzi ya Mungu. Amen. Nami basi naitwa Samuel Monyere na Yesu Kristo ni mwokozi na uh, kiongozi wa maisha yangu. Ninapenda kuongozwa na Bwana, ninapenda kutawaliwa na Bwana na mpaka wakati huu amekuwa mwaminifu. Mimi ndiye ambaye nilikuwa first vicar wa kanisa hili la St Ambrose ambalo mchungaji Samuel anatumika kwa sasa na tukawa marafiki sana na watu wengi wa hili kanisa na mmoja wao akiwa shiku ambaye alinisupport sana wakati huo na kumbuka uh, kila mara tu wakati ambapo nilikuwa na mchango shiko would bring the match she would get to support the work of God with a smile the match that she would do what labda ikukua 100000 labda ikukua 50 but the match she got she would bring with a smile and you could tell she's giving from the heart amen na kwa hiyo basi nikasema ndakuja na nisome pamoja naye na nijumuike pamoja na nyinyi wote ambao mmejiunga hapa leo na ili tuweze uh, ku, uh, kugawanya huzuni yake pamoja na yeye jambo moja la Samuel ni kwamba mimi na Samuel tulisomea high school moja high school hiyo ambayo mmeona inaitwa Kareti Secondary School pia mimi nilikuwa huko miaka nilitoka huko 206 na yeye akaja akatoka 2018. Na kwa hivyo tulisomea shule moja na Samuel. Uh, sisi ni alumni wa shule moja. Na shiko tungetaka kukuombea kwamba Mungu atakushika na mkono wake na atubeye pamoja naye nawe. Na jambo moja ninakwambia ni kwamba beo ya gaidi omaga. Beo ya gaidi kangatea. Endelea kudumu hapo kwa Mungu. Hapo ndipo ambapo msaada wako unatoka na kama vile ambavyo nilisema siku ya juzi wakati ambapo nilikuja matanga ni kwamba usisumbuke kujiuliza Mungu ataanzia wapi anajua usisumbuke kujiuliza Mungu atafanya nini God has already has figured it out he knows what exactly he will do na jambo moja ambalo litakuhakikishia ni kwamba kesho yako lazima itakuwa kesho ya ushindi maisha yako lazima yatakuwa maisha ya furaha maisha yako lazima yatafika mahali ambapo Mungu alipanga yatafika katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Tumebarikiwa leo kwa sababu vika wetu ni hata tuletea neno la Mungu na ningeomba tusimame sote tuimbe wimbo mmoja ambao ni wa Kikuyu ambao unasema how horror wa moyo did aganagia hata kama mambo yatakuwa magumu aje how horror wa moyo dikagatea. Todo moje teri moyo ni aje dili ario the mambo yatagerera dare hedi akama shonori. Amen. How horror wa moyo did aganagia Odo mo jenteri mo yo nehire kete da shono idio nehire konore mo yo kete da 
Asante kwa sababu kwa pamoja nasi utatunenea na utatutendea mema. Tunaomba haya katika jina la Kristo bwana na mkombozi wetu. Amina. Tunaweza keti. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise the Lord. Uh, mchungaji na Larry da Helen officers wetu wa NYS kiongozi na inspector wa Kristo na waombolezaji wote ningetaka kuwasalimia dhuhuri hii ya leo praise the lord leo ni siku ambayo ni siku ya huzuni siku hii ambayo tunafikiria kuhusu maisha ya mmoja wetu mmoja wetu ambaye tulimjua tulimpenda tulifanya mambo mengi pamoja ni wakati ambao tunatafakari mambo hayo yote 
na najua kwamba wengi wetu tuko na uchungu tukiona kijana mdogo wakati wake umefika amepumzika na tunashindwa tutasonga mbele kivipi au can we kuweza yote yale mwanadamu anashindwa Mungu anaweza yale sisi hatuwezi kufanya Mungu anaweza tufanyia na kwa hivyo ni vizuri kila mmoja wetu tumtazame Mungu tumwangalie Mungu tumgojee Mungu pia nasi tukijitayarisha praise the lord it is always good also to prepare ourselves kuishi tukiwa tayari mnanisikia kuishi tukiwa tayari kwa sababu hatujui siku yetu hatujui namna gani pia nasi tutatoka kwenye ulimwengu huu na kwa hivyo ni vizuri kila mmoja wetu tukae tukiwa tayari kwa majina naitwa Samuel Dairo Ndongo Yesu Kristo ni bwana na mwokozi wa maisha yangu aliniokoa nikiwa kijana mdogo nasifurahii kwa sababu ya hayo lakini nafurahia kwa sababu ametembea pamoja nami Nimeona akinishikilia mkono katika maisha ya ujana katika maisha yangu nimeona kitembea nami na kwa sababu ya hiyo najua ya kwamba niko na rafiki mmoja ambaye ananipenda zaidi ya wote praise the lord Yesu ametembea nami akaendelea kuniweka nguvu akanipa maarifa na kwa hivyo ni yeye peke yake ambaye naangalia juu kwa sababu najua ya kwamba sina mahala pengine pa kupotelea isipokuwa kwa Yesu Kristo huyo ambaye aliniokoa huyo ambaye amekuwa rafiki wa karibu huyo ambaye amekuwa msaada wangu katika maisha yangu na kwa hivyo ni vizuri kama uko hapa hujamjua Mungu hujamfanya Yesu kuwa mwokozi wako hii ni siku njema yako kutafakari ni siku njema pia nawe kujiuliza ni nani anaweza kuwa rafiki wako wa karibu ni nani anaweza kuwa wa kukushikilia katika maisha yako Andiposa Ningetaka tuangalie maisha ya mtu mmoja mtu mmoja ambaye alikuwa anaitwa Yona Mtu huyu ambaye tunamjua vizuri mtu huyu ambaye tumesoma habari zake ningeteka tutafakari maisha ya Yona lakini kabla hatujaongea kuhusu Yona ningetaka kuleta rambi rambi zangu kwa familia ya Wanjiko Wanjiko namjua vyema Wanjiko ni mshiriki wetu katika kanisa la St Ambrose. Yeye wakati nilifika pale nilimjua ya kwamba ni mtu mkarimu sana. Kwa sababu nimetembea kwake kwa nyumba yake wakati tunaenda pastros. Na kuna mahali ninakwambia kwamba ukiingia pale hautakosa kula matunda. Nilikuwa nafika pale nakuta wanjiko wameandaa matunda mazuri tunakula nasema mchungaji hata kama umesema hautakula hata kama umesema hautakunywa chai nimeandaa matunda hapa na haya matunda ni yako kwa hivyo i remember that kuna wakati tumeenda kama vile Rida Helen amesema tulienda pale kwa sababu Mwangi alikuwa amevunjika mguu hapo ndio niliweza kumjua Mwangi vizuri tukaongea na e, tukaomba na e, na akaniambia mambo ambayo angetaka kufanya na vile anaendelea na shule pale NYS na kwa hivyo hata juzi juzi nilikuwa nimetembea nyumbani tulimuombea wakati tulikuwa tumeenda pastro lakini haya yamefanyika sisi hatuelewi hatujui lakini Mungu anaelewa praise the lord na kwa sababu maisha yetu yanatoka kwa mwenyezi Mungu hayo mambo yote tunamwachia Mungu tunasema ya kwamba 
sisi hatujui yale ametendeka hatujui vizuri kwa nini ametendeka wakati kama huu lakini tunaachia Mungu tukijua ya kwamba Mungu ako na mpango mwema juu ya wanjiko na familia yote praise the lord hatuwezi kuwa tunajua vyema huo mpango lakini tunajua kwamba Mungu ako na mpango mwema hata kama instruments hata kama pia haifanyi tutaendelea tu si ndio tutasikizana na tutasonga mbele eona alitumwa na Mungu eona alitumwa na Mungu akaambia kwamba mimi nataka uende ni neve ukahubiri uwaambie ya kwamba siku yao imefika mwisho lakini yona akasema ya kwamba hatafuata njia hiyo akasema ya kwamba atafuata njia yake yeye mwenyewe akaamka akaenda njia ingine akaenda mahali panaitwa Tarshish na kizungu ama mahali hapo ni mahali panaitwa Spain wakati huu tunapaita Spain alikuwa anapotelea pale kwa sababu Mungu alikuwa amemtuma lakini hata kama kulienda hivyo kukakuwa na mawimbi makali kukakuwa na dhoruba pale katika ziwa hilo na ikafanyika ya kwamba yona akawa wakurushwa pale majini akawa wakurushwa pale majini kwa sababu yeye ndiyo walifanya kura pale wakajua ya kwamba huyu ndiye alikuwa na shida na ndiposa wakasema ya kwamba tutakufanya nini eona eona akawaambia nirusheni kwa maji na hapo ndipo nataka tuanze kutafakari kuhusu maisha ya, ya huyu ama yale ambayo yalitendeka katika maisha yake somo ambalo tulisomewa inatoka eona mbili na inaongea kuhusu ombi ambalo yona aliomba wakati huo alikuwa katika shida kubwa na kwa hivyo ningetaka tufikirie kuhusu msaada wetu msaada wetu wakati tunapitia katika dhiki utulivu na usalama wakati wa dhiki na kizungu ni stability and security in a time of distress tutapata utulivu wapi tutapata usalama wapi wakati wa dhiki yona anaanza na kuangalia kwanza shida yake ambayo yuko ndani ndani yake ukisoma mstari wa tatu yona mbili mstari wa tatu anasema ya kwamba ulinitupa kwenye kilindi ndani kabisa ya moyo wa bahari mikondo ya maji ilinizunguka mawimbi yako yote na viwimbi vilipita juu yangu anaendelea na kusema verse 5 and 6 maji yalinimeza yalinitisha kilindi kilinizunguka Mwani ulijisokota kichwani pangu nilipazama chini na mpaka pande za mwisho za milima makomeo ya hiyo nchi yalinifungia hata milele Yohana anasema Yona anasema ya kwamba alirushwa ndani ya maji akaona maji yakianza kumpeleka mawimbi yakaanza kumpiga piga akaona ameanza kuzama sijui kama yona alikuwa muogeleaji lakini hata kama alikuwa muogeleaji akaona ya kwamba mawimbi ni makali mno akaanza kuzama akaanza kuona ameingia dunia nyingine huko ndani ya maji hadi akaingia akafika mwisho kabisa akasema ya kwamba nikaona mahala milima inaanza kwa sababu alikuwa amefika chini kabisa hangeweza kwenda chini zaidi ya hiyo kuna siku moja ambayo 
tulikuwa tumeenda Mombasa na tukaingia katika boat na kulikuwa na mawimbi makali sana wakati tumeingia pale wale ambao tulikuwa nao marafiki zangu kila mtu akashikilia hiyo boat hakuna mtu alikuwa anaongea na mwingine kila mtu alikuwa anatafakari kuhusu maisha yake Mungu ni mwema tulienda na tukatoka lakini tulipo kanyanga inchi kavu hapo ndio watu walianza kuongea watu wakaanza kusema kwamba mimi sitawahi ingia kwa boat tena mimi sitawahi ingia kwa boat tena kwa sababu nimeona ya kwamba ni kama maisha yangu yalikuwa hatarini mno Yona alikuwa amefika mahala hapo alikuwa amefika mwisho wa maisha yake shida zetu kila mmoja hapa ako na shida ukiambia mtu akwambie shida zake kila mtu atakuhesabia wengine wanasukumwa na maisha kila mtu tunasukumwa na maisha wakati kama huu ambao tunaangalia pengine bei ya unga pengine tunaangalia bei ya maisha mambo imeenda juu zaidi mafuta imeenda juu zaidi hatujui tutaenda wapi ama tutatokea wapi mambo yanatusukuma wewe ambaye unasukumwa na maisha nataka kukuambia kwamba kuna wengine pia wamesukumwa sasa wanazama wanazama katika maisha wanazama katika shida zao wamekosa matumaini hawajui sasa ni kwenda mbele ama kwenda nyuma hata wanasema afadhali huyu ambaye anasukumwa na maisha kwa sababu mimi sisukumwi tena mimi ni kuzama na zama sijui naelekea wapi sijui nitatokea wapi pia kuna wengine ambao wanasema ya kwamba mimi hata sio kuzama mimi hata sio kusukumwa mimi nimefika mwisho wa maneno haya yote mimi nimefika mwisho kabisa sijui nitaangalia wapi sijui nitaangalia nani sijui nitafanya nini i have hit rock bottom yona akasema kwamba mimi nilifika hapo rock bottom akaanza kuona ukifika baharini chini unakuta kuna mimea inakuwa huko na kizungu tunasema seaweed anasema kwamba he saw the seaweeds alifika huko akaona mimea ambayo inakuwa huko chini ya bahari alikuwa amefika mwisho na kaona ya kwamba anasema ya kwamba mimi nikaona maisha yangu uhai wangu ulikuwa unatoka alikuwa naona ya kwamba siku yangu imefika sasa mimi sina tumaini tena ningetaka kukuuliza swali wewe ambao umekaa hapa wakati wa shida wakati wa dhiki wewe unaangalia nani Unaangalia nani wakati wa dhiki? Wakati wa shida unaangalia nani? Unaangalia marafiki? Pengine unaangalia masomo yako? Kuna wengine ambao wanaangalia vitu ambavyo wako navyo? Kuna wengine wanaangalia kwamba kuna madaktari wanaweza tutengenezea maisha maisha ikuwe nzuri kama ukitembea kwa vijiji unaona kwamba kuna daktari ametoka Zanzibar kuna daktari ametoka sijui Malindi wakati uko katika shida unakimbilia hao watu ama unajiangalia we mwenyewe unaona kwamba mimi niko na suluhisho ya shida zangu where do you look unamwangalia Mungu ili awe suluhu ya shida ambayo unapitia tunaambia kwamba yona wakati alifika mwisho alimuita Mungu alimuomba Mungu 
Hebu tusikilize vile ameandika katika Yona mbili. Jonah 2 verse 2 anasema in my distress I called to the Lord and he answered me from the deep realm of the dead I called for help and you listened to my cry Akasema akomba katika shida yangu nilimuita Bwana naye akanijibu kutoka kina cha kaburi Niliomba msaada nawe ukasikia kilio changu. Ukienda okay, 7 and 8 inasema kwamba wakati uhai wangu ulipokuwa unatoka nilikumbuka wewe Bwana nayo na maombi yangu yalikufikia wewe katika hekalu lako takatifu. Yona wakati wa shida wakati aliona ya kwamba nikufa anakufa alikumbuka Mungu akaenda mbele za Mungu akamuomba akiwa chini huko chini ya maji akamlilia Mungu akamuita Mungu wake Mungu naomba unisaidie Mungu naomba uniokoe katika shida hii ambayo napitia ndugu na dada zangu ningetaka kuambia kwamba msaada wetu Msaada wako Msaada wangu Utatoka kwa mungu peke yake Praise the Lord Bwana Yesu wasifiwe Ni vizuri kuwa watu ambao wanaomba mungu Ni vizuri kuwa watu ambao wanaeza mulilia mungu Watu ambao wanaeza pata mahali watapotea na watamfikia mungu Na hapo ni kupitia kwa maombi wakati uko katika shida kuwa mtu wa kumuita Mungu na kumulilia Mungu. Praise the Lord. Tuwe watu wa kumuomba Mungu wakati huu mgumu wa wanjiko pamoja na familia yao huu ndio wakati wa kumuita na kumulilia Bwana. Huu ndio wakati wa kumuita na kumulilia Bwana. Sisi ambao tuko hapa, tukirudi manyumbani, tusiende kusema kwamba kazi tumemaliza, kazi kubwa ambayo tuko nayo, ni kuweka wanjiko na familia katika maombi. Praise the Lord. Ukiwa unafanya maombi yako, usisahau wanjiko, usisahau familia yao, kila mmoja wao wakumbuke katika maombi, kwa sababu maombi inafanya kazi. Praise the Lord. Yona hata akiwa pale akizama akifika kule chini alikuwa na tumaini ya kwamba Mungu atasikia sauti yake alikuwa na tumaini ya kwamba Mungu anasikiliza maombi yake Sijui kama wakati uko na shida kuna wakati unaomba unafikiria kwamba kweli Mungu ananisikia Kweli Mungu anasikia kile ambacho nasema. Ukisoma unasikia kwamba tukisoma Yona alikuwa na uhakika. Hata kama amefika mwisho wa mawazo, hata kama amefika mwisho wa maisha, alikuwa na uhakika ya kwamba Mungu anasikia kilio chake. Aliposa anaandika anasema ya kwamba verse 20 verse, verse 9 Anasema ya kwamba, lakini mimi kwa wimbo wa shukurani, nita kutolea dhabihu, lile hilo wekwa na dhiri, nita litimiza, wokovu watoka kwa buwana. Huyo ni mtu ambaye anakufa, anasema ya kwamba, salvation comes from the Lord. Yeye anakiri anasema wewe Mungu hata kama nikufa hata kama nikuzama na zama hata kama nafika mwisho wa maisha yangu bado nakiri ya kwamba wewe ndio mwokozi wangu sisi kama wa Kristo sisi kama wa Kristo ambaye Mungu ametuita wakati tunapitia mambo magumu ushuhuda wetu tunasimama nao praise the lord tunasema ya kwamba if i die let me die 
in the army of the in the army of the Lord. Na furahia kwamba NYS wamekuja hapa. Na wanatukumbusha sisi kama wa Kristo. Ya kwamba sisi tumeitwa katika jeshi la Bwana Yesu. Sisi tumeitwa katika jeshi la Bwana Yesu. Na kwa hivyo tukisema ni kuzonga mbele haturudi nyuma. Hata kama kutakuwa na mambo mazito hata kama kutakuwa na garika na mawimbi hata kama kuna kifo ambayo inatukoja huko mbele sisi hatutasonga nyuma kwa sababu tunajua kwamba mwokozi wetu ni Yesu Kristo praise the lord wakati mwingine unakuta kwamba wa Kristo wamekuwa waoga wa Kristo wamekuwa waoga ukiambia mkristo asimame atoe ushuhuda wake anaogopa unaambia mkristo asimame amtumikie Mungu unaona huyo mkristo ako na uoga nataka kuambia ndugu zangu dada zangu ya kwamba sisi hatujaitwa turudi nyuma praise the lord sisi hatujaitwa tuweze kuogopa tumeitwa tumtumikie Mungu ambaye anaishi milele na milele praise the lord Yona akasema ya kwamba hata kama ni kufa mimi naamini ya kwamba wokovu unatoka kwa Mungu. Kwa hivyo Yona alikuwa na matumaini ya kwamba he still has a future. Hata sisi tunajua ya kwamba mwikufa sio mwisho. Praise the Lord. Kifo sio mwisho. Sisi tunaamini ya kwamba Kifo ndiyo mwanzo wa maisha. Kifo ndiyo mwanzo wa maisha. Nataka kuambia kwamba maisha haya ni kama just a practical. Ni kama exercise tunafanya. Maisha ni yale ambayo Mungu ametuandalia huko mbinguni. Praise the Lord. This is just like a rehearsal. Tunaambia kwamba huko mbinguni tutaishi milele na milele. Maisha ya mwanadamu ni miaka sabini ambayo Mungu ametupa katika ulimwengu huu. Only 70 years. Lakini Mungu anatualika tuishi pamoja naye milele na milele. Kwa hivyo ndugu zangu ningetaka kuambia kwamba tusife moyo. Usife moyo kwa sababu maisha haya ni mafupi lakini tumwangalie Mungu ambaye atatupa uzima wa milele tuishi naye milele na milele praise the lord Yohana baada ya kuomba hivyo tunaambia kwamba Mungu akatuma samaki ikaja ikameza Yohana mbili mstari wa kumi nasema hivi and the lord commanded the fish and it vomited Jonah and to dry land Mungu Bwana akamwamuru nyangumi naye akamtapika yona katika nchi kavu Sijui nchi kavu ni nini kwako Lakini yona ambaye alikuwa nazama yona ambaye alikuwa amekufa akakanyanga sasa tena katika nchi kavu mahala hakuwa anatarajia kufika Mungu akafanya miujiza akatapikwa na nyangumi mahala ambapo ni nchi kavu Andiposa ningetaka kuambia kwamba hata sisi ambao tunapitia katika mawimbi sisi ambao tunapita katika maji sisi ambao tunaona kama tunazama Ningetaka kuambia kwamba kuna nchi kavu ambayo Mungu ametuandalia praise the lord kuna nchi kavu kuna mahala ambapo tutasimama imara kuna mahala ambapo kuna utulivu mahala ambapo kuna usalama mahala ambapo ni nchi kavu ambayo Mungu ametuandalia kila mmoja wetu mimi sijui nchi kavu ni nini kwako lakini kuna wengine wanasema kwamba nchi kavu kwao ni kumaliza masomo 
na kupata kazi kuna mwingine ya inchi kavu kwake ni kupata financial security kazi yake kuendelea vizuri biashara yake kuendelea vizuri anaona ya kwamba nikifika hapo hiyo ndio itakuwa inchi kavu kwangu nitapata mahali ambapo niko salama mahali ambapo nitakuwa na utulivu sijui kwako pia kama security ni economy kukuwa mzuri wakati kama huu tunaona ya kwamba bei ya vitu imeenda juu sijui kama dry ground kwako ni maana wakati bei zitashuka mafuta itashuka kila kitu itakuwa shwari kuna wengine ambao wanaendelea kuomba wale ambao wanaombea familia zao wale ambao wanaombea watoto wao wale ambao wanaombea ndugu na dada zao wanajua anasema ya kwamba wakati hao watoto watasimama vyema wampende Mungu waingie kanisa hiyo ndio itakuwa dry ground kwangu sisi kama wahubiri tunasema ya kwamba dry ground ni mahali ambapo tuko na wakati wa kuhubiria watu wakati wa mahali pa kupeleka injiri mbele wakati tunaona watu wanaokoka hapo tunaona ya kwamba tumefika our dry ground hapo ndio tunafanya kile ambacho Mungu ametuita tufanye sijui kwako kama familia unasema ya kwamba dry ground ni wakati mtaishi kama familia mkiwa na amani mkiwa na furaha mkiwa na upendo na changamoto za katika ndoa yako zitaisha dry ground sisi kama nchi tunaomba wakati kama huu tunasema ya kwamba Mungu tungetaka kuwa na a peaceful election tungetaka kuona a smooth transition the handing over of power in the country hiyo kwetu is dry ground kwa sababu wakati kama huu tunasikia kuna msukumo kuna mawimbi ya kisiasa yanasukuma yanatusukuma na tunaomba Mungu tusaidie Mungu tusizame katika mambo haya dry ground kwa familia ya wanjiku ni wakati tutaona ya kwamba Mungu anaendelea kuwapa amani Mungu anaendelea kuwapa hili that is dry ground kila mmoja wetu tunaamini ya Mungu ya kwamba atatufikisha mahali ambapo ambapo tutakuwa na tutakuwa salama na tutakuwa na utulivu katika mioyo yetu lakini hata kama mambo hayo yote yanaendelea lazima tukumbuke ya kwamba mambo haya yote ya ulimwengu yanafika kikomo praise the lord mambo ya ulimwengu yatafika kikomo haya mambo ambayo tunaona hayatakuwa hapa milele wewe ambao umeketi hapo siku yako inakuja siku yako itakuja watu watakuja wataomboleza kwa sababu yako watu watakuja kulia kwa sababu yako watu watakuja kustoa tribute zao wakisema vile walikujua na mambo ambayo ulitenda nataka kukuambia kwamba haya mambo yote ambayo unaona magari haya mazuri ambayo unaona hapa yatafika mwisho manyumba ambayo tunajenga haya yote yatafika mwisho masomo ambayo tunasoma wengine wako na certificate wengine wako na degree wengine wako na diploma wengine ni masters na phd mwisho wa masomo utafika taukwambia kwamba hata hao marafiki ambao unapenda sana au mnaitana mnapigiana simu au mnatembeleana nao kila wakati kuna wakati mtaachana kabisa urafiki wenyu utafika mwisho ni vizuri kujua kile ambacho ni cha maana zaidi katika ulimwengu huu 
pesa zote zitakuja kufika mwisho mali yote itafika mwisho hata nchi yetu kuna wakati itafika mwisho hata dunia hii Biblia inatuambia kwamba dunia hii pia iko na mwisho wake ukiuliza askari hawa wanakuambia kwamba kuna wakati wa kupandisha bendera na kuna wakati wa kufanya nini kushukisha bendera bendera haikai juu milele kuna wakati bendera inashuka ndao kuambia kwamba pia wewe bendera maisha yako siku moja itashuka mimi kama mchungaji kuna wakati nitaambiwa wakati wako wa retire umefanya nini umefika nitaambiwa chukua virago vyako urudi nyumbani sitaitwa vika tena nitachukua virago vyangu nitarudi nyumbani kwa sababu retirement imefanya nini imefika hata rank zetu sisi ambao ni askari kuna wakati unaweka rank chini unafanya nini unaenda nyumbani tunasema ya kwamba huyu tulikuwa tunamjua alikuwa inspector alikuwa meja alikuwa kile kingine mambo ya dunia hii ni ya muda mfupi sana maisha ya mwanadamu ni ya muda mfupi sana utulivu na usalama wa kweli katika maisha yako itapatikana wapi utulivu na usalama wa kweli utapatikana wapi kwa sababu mambo haya yote ambayo tunaona na tunapenda yote yatafika kikomo ndio kukwambia kwamba kuna mtu hapa ananiangalia hapa anasema ya kwamba mimi ni mimi 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 ni kijana mimi ni mchanga wengine wanasema miaka yangu ijafika wengine wanasema ya kwamba mimi niko na afya njema hata nilikuwa hospitali jana ama juzi nikaambiwa ya kwamba i'm healthy sina ugonjwa wowote ndio kukwambia ya kwamba hata ukiwa hivyo siku yako lazima itafika na kwa hivyo lazima tujiambie ukweli kuhusu utulivu wetu na usalama wa kweli utapatikana wapi Nataka kukwambia hivi ya kwamba trusting in God and living your life for the honor and the glory of Jesus Christ hapo ndipo tunapata utulivu wetu na usalama wa kweli kumwamini Mungu na kuishi maisha yako kwa sababu ya sifa na utukufu wa Yesu Kristo hapo ndipo utulivu na usalama wa kweli unapatikana sio kusema tu wajua kuna watu wanasema ati mimi namjua huyo Mungu mimi nampenda huyo Mungu lakini maisha yako Unaishi kwa sababu ya sifa na utukufu wa huyo Mungu. Maisha yako ni kielelezo chema cha huyo Mungu ambaye unasema na mdomo wako. Ndugu na dada zangu, tumekuja kukumbushwa siku ya leo kwamba tuwe watu wa kumwamini Mungu na kumfuata Mungu na kumfanyia Mungu kazi katika ulimwengu huu niwaambia kwamba tuna kazi mingi ambazo tunafanya katika ulimwengu huu kila mmoja wetu hapa ukimuuliza atakwambia ile kazi anafanya hapa kuna daktari hapa kuna mpishi hapa kuna askari hapa kuna mwalimu hapa kuna wachungaji hapa kuna wanafunzi hapa kuna watu wa aina mbalimbali mbali. Lakini nataka kuambia hivi. Kazi ile ya muhimu zaidi kuliko zote ni kujipeana maisha yako kumfanyia Mungu kazi. Praise the Lord. And that is for the glory and honor of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Number two, finding salvation in Jesus Christ 
for them that have not made a decision to follow Jesus Christ as their Savior and Lord. Kira kuambia kwamba, hata wakati wa mazishi, watu wanaeza ukoka. Praise the Lord. It is a good time for us to commit ourselves to Jesus Christ. Kuna watu ambao wamekuwa wakifikiria na wakitafakari na wakipostpone. Wanasema kwamba siku haijafika. Ningekuuliza ni siku gani hiyo ambayo unasema? Kwani uko na siku zako umejiwekea? Siku ya kumfuata Mungu na kumjua Mungu ni hii. Siku ya kufanya uamuzi katika roho yako kumfanya Yesu awe mwana na mwokozi wa maisha yako siku ndio hii Ngekwambia kwamba fanya uamuzi fanya uamuzi wako kwa sababu hatujui Yesu anaweza rudi lini ama hatujui siku yetu itafika lini ya kwenda kukutana na mwokozi lakini tunajua ya kwamba tukiwa tayari Mungu atakuja This is a good opportunity ya yes, sisi kwenye mbele za Mungu kuomba Mungu aweze kutupa amani ya kweli na tuweze kutupa usalama rohoni zetu Niyo na po amani kama shwari amani yo na po shida kwa mambo yote umeni julisha ni salama ro ho Shetani, atani, tesa, nitajipa mo, yo, kwani. Kristo ameu, ona unyonge wangu, amepu. Salama Rohoni Ni salama Rohoni Let's bow our heads as we go before the Lord Kwambe ya kwamba mungu wa tupe usalama Rohoni zetu Kwa sababu usalama wa kweli na utulivu wa kweli Unatoka kwa mungu mwenye enzi. Tuende mele za mungu tukiomba usalama wa kweli katika maisha yetu. Katika familia zetu. Katika maisha ya familia hii ya wanjiko. Tuombe ya kwamba usalama rokoni zao. Kwa sababu mungu anawapenda na anawajali. Asanti kwa sababu usalama wa kweli na utulivu wa kweli. Unatoka kwako. Asanti kwa sababu ya mtumishi wako yona ambaye alipata usalama na utulivu wa kweli ndani yako. Andiposa hata jioni wakati huu adhuhuri hii ya leo tunaomba ya kwamba tuweze kupata usalama wa kweli. Tunaomba ya kwamba familia ya wanjiko iweze kupata usalama wa kweli na utulivu wa kweli ambao unatoka kwako. Tusaidie kila mmoja wetu kufanya uamuzi wakukufuata wakukufanyia kazi wakukuabudu 
kwa kufanya Yesu Kristo awe Bwana na mwokozi wa maisha yetu. Endelea kusimama nasi, endelea kutuongoza, wacha roho wako aendelee kutu, kutafakari kutu, kutuongoza wakati tunatafakari maneno haya ili kila wakati tuweze kupata usalama wa kweli rohoni mwetu. Na tunaomba haya katika jina la Yesu Kristo, Bwana na mkombozi wetu. Amen. Asante sana mchungaji wetu kwa sababu ya kutuletea neno la Mungu. Na wakati huu tutasimama sote na ili tuimbe wimbo ambao unasema Bwana we ni sehemu yangu. Wewe pia ni rafiki yangu. Tunapotoa sadaka zetu Uh, ningeuliza tutaongoza wa kufanya vile ili tuweze kusimama na kusupport kazi ya Mungu. Bwana wewe ni sehemu ya Bwana wewe ni sehemu yangu, wewe ni rafiki yangu na katika safari yangu natembea na wewe. Asikivu aofate. Bwana usemu yangu. Rafiki yangu wewe katika safari ya Tatembea na we pamoja pamoja na we we pamoja 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 na we we katika safari yangu tatembea na we we mali ha. Yeah. 
baba wale wote wamenyolosa mkono na wakatoa Jehova kuendelee na kuwabariki bariki hata biashara zao bariki hata pahali popote wanatoa vipesa pesa Jehova endelea na kuwabariki hata wale hawakuwa na chochote Mungu tunawaombea kuendelee kuwabariki hizi pingine wakapate tunaomba ubariki hii sadaka kwa kasi yote ambayo itafanya na ni katika jina la Yesu Kristo tumeomba na kuamini Kwa wakati huu tunapenda kuuliza jamii ya Samuel waje hapa ili tuweze kuwaombea hata tunapokaribia tamati ya ibada yetu Ingaware mwana wako kedo Baba katika jina la Yesu tuwalisifu na kulinua jina lako wa dhuhuri ya leo. Kwa sababu tunajua kwamba we ni Mungu na utabaki kuwa Mungu hata hali za maisha yetu Bwana zikibadilika wewe Bwana unabaki kuwa Mungu. Na katika jina la Yesu wakati huu ambapo jamii hii ya Samuel wanaomboleza kifo cha mtoto wao Bwana tunakushukuru kwa sababu hata sasa we bado ni Mungu Mwenyezi Mungu tunakushukuru kwa sababu mipango yako ni mipango ya ajabu na mipango yako Mwenyezi Mungu unapoipanga 
hakuna mwanadamu yeyote anaweza kuipangua tunakushukuru kwa sababu Mungu mipango yako inaandamana na neema yako your plans are accompanied by your grace and we thank you that in the name of Jesus that even at such a time as this oh god your plans for this family oh god are accompanied by your grace and this is the grace the lord we pray for this family Amani hii, neema hii, ndio Bwana ambaye tunaombea jamii hii katika jina la Yesu. Wanapomoleza mfalme, wanapolia Mungu, tunaomba neema yako itawashukia. Katika jina la Yesu, tunaomba amani yako Bwana itawajaza. Katika jina la Yesu, tunaomba kwamba Mungu utawashika mkono wao na kutembea nao katika jina la Yesu. Fafane to haya mwadha ni omai karie ne to haya mwadha ni omani terere ne to haya ga yo matirerere ne to haya ga yo matoranerie peine ware to ware a jesu and we pray that oh god that you will turn their morning into dancing again you will give them a new song about father you will seek comfort come, come to their hearts oh god for the glory and honor of your name and this afternoon god we trust in you that god you will carry them by your hands umetukumbusha katika neno lako ya kwamba wokovu baba watoka kwako tunaomba kwamba wokovu huo mfalme utakuwa juu ya familia hii katika jina la Yesu wakati huu Mungu tunaomba atemwadhani ni wote wote hivyo wao atemwadhani ni ukoma honokia todo honoka ni uma korewe gai deine ware tu ware a Yesu nito hoya mwadhani omagirie maidhori nito hoya mwadhani omoma ekia bereri yake ke nito hoya mwadhani omadekie regereu deine ware tu ware a Yesu na kwa sababu wewe ni Mungu tunawakabidhi mikononi mwako tukiamini kwamba utawaongoza na kuwatawala sio leo tu lakini siku zote za maisha yao na kwa sababu wewe Mungu unaweza kufanya hivyo tunakuamini na tunatulia mweponi mwako tukiomba kuomba Bwana utatenda mema hata katika maisha yao leo katika maisha ya mpendo wetu shiko katika maisha ya mama yake na katika maisha ya kila mmoja ameitanishwa na jamii kwa utukufu wa jina lako na sasa Mungu atuliza na uwalinde kwa maana tumeomba haya yote kwa Yesu Kristo Bwana na mwokozi wetu Amen Mwenyezi Mungu awabariki tungetaka kuuliza mtu ambaye anatoa vote of thanks saje tunaporuhusu jamii hii waketi kwa kipindi kifupi ili tuweze kutolewa vote of thanks ili tutakapoelekea pale hivyo tutaenda na tumalizie katika jina la Yesu yule ambaye anapeana vote of thanks tafadhali karibia ufanye hivyo Harrison Kamau tafadhali njo Harrison Kamau iliweza or to move thanks to Shiko for having taken care of Mwangi for the days they have been together the next vote of thanks goes to the NYS officers for joining us to be with us at this particular time i also want to thank the members of the family the extended family for standing for standing with us at this particular time i also want to thank each and every one of you who took his time to go and believe with the family those of us who have given their financial support to the family to make this day a success I want also to give thanks to all of you who have given their time from morning to up to this time to be with the family go with our thanks and may god bless you all thank you very much asante sana harrison kwa sababu ya giving us a vote of thanks ningependa tu usimame sote na ili tu elekee pale hivyo kwa kaburi na uh, wachungaji pia watakuwa kwanza tukisomewa maneno na mwili tusadeni tusaidie kubeba na wapendo watu kutoka NYS na ningeomba kwamba tutajipa nguvu watu watatu tunapoendelea na ibada katika jina la Yesu
yangu kuharibiwa hivyo utamuona Mungu kwa macho yangu mwenyewe mimi mwenyewe nitakutana naye mimi mwenyewe na mimi si mwingine nitaona kwa macho aliyetujalia neema hiyo kwa ajili ya Kristo Yesu kabla ya wakati lakini imefunuliwa kwetu sasa kwa kuja kwetu mwokozi wetu Yesu Kristo yeye amekomesha ame nguvu za kifo na kwa jina la habari njema akadhirisha uhai usio na kifo maana hakukuletea kitu chochote hapa duniani wala hatutachukua chochote mshindi atavi, atavikwa hivyo kwa mavazi meupe nami Thank you. 
Kaburi hili ambalo tutamlaza mtoto wetu rafiki yetu na ndugu yetu sana litakuwa takatifu na kwa sababu wewe ndio unafanya fanya makaburi yote yanao kwa mimi matakatifu tupende kuomba kwa sawa na talala hapa kwa amani mpaka ile siku tamenda tajana afufuke ili tujue na wewe uko mbinguni tunataka saka kaburi hili katika jina la Mungu Bwana na Mungu mtakatifu General salute, please and on. Shoulder up. Let's go to the cup. Um, rest. Yo, 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 yo,
Isha nikasikia sauti kutoka binguni ikisema andika heri watu ambao tangu sasa wanakufa wakiwa wameungana na Bwana naye roho asema nam watapumzika kutoka taabu zao maana matunda ya jasho lao yatawafuata hivyo basi tukimwamini Mungu atupae neema bila kiasi na thawabu ya utakatifu kupitia kwake yeye Yesu Kristo twakabidhi roho ya ndugu yetu Samuel Mwangi aliyetuacha katika mikono yake ya milele ili amchukue nasi tunarudisha mwili wake ardhini udongo kwa udongo majivu kwa majivu mavumbi kwa mavumbi kwa wale wote waliokombolewa na Mungu tumaini letu ni vifuo wa milele kupitia kwa Yesu Kristo Bwana yetu atakaye geuza mwili wetu usiodumu ili uweze kufuliwa katika mwili wake mtakatifu kulingana na uwezo wake mkuu aliyoutumia kwa Kristo alipofufua kutoka kwa wafu na kamketisha mkono wa kuume juu ya amri zote na mamlaka uwezo na milki milele na milele amen ndio maana wako mbele ya kiti cha enzi cha Mungu kumtumikia Mungu mchana na usiku katika hekalu yake naye anayeketi juu ya kiti cha enzi atatandaza hema yake juu yao kuwalinda hawataona tena njaa wala kiu jua wala joto kali halita wachoma tena kwa sababu mwana kondoo aliye katikati ya kiti cha enzi atakuwa mchungaji wao naye atawaongoza kwenye chemichemi za maji ya uhai naye Mungu atafuta machozi yote machoni mwao kama mwokozi wetu alivyotufundisha na ujasiri na kuomba sisi wote pamoja baba yetu uliye mbinguni jina lako litukuzwe ufalme wako uje utakalo lifanyike duniani kama mbinguni utupe leo chakula chetu cha kila siku utusamehe makosa yetu kama nasi tunavyosamehe walio tukosea ustutie katika majaribu lakini utuokoe na ule muovu kwa kuwa ufalme ni wako na nguvu na utukufu sasa hata milele amina fursa hii ni fursa yetu ya kurusha mchanga na nitaanza na mama yake Mwangi hii fursa nitapatia mama yake Mwangi wa njiko apaye wa mchanga alafu afuatwe na wenye familia family members tumpatie mchanga kidogo tu chukua kidogo tu is a way of healing kumpatia mchanga kumpatia mchanga tumtumshikilie vizuri tuwashikilie vizuri pia family members wapewe mchanga family members wapatiwe mchanga close family members peleke mbele kidogo kidogo tu na ushikilie vizuri ili aweze kurusha mchanga. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Haya family members wale wako. Aha, kuna cousins. Thank you, thank you. Na kuna mam, uh, kuna shosho yake Mwangi, shosho yake Mwangi alikuwa hapa. Where is the shosho? Shosho pia apewe mchanga aweze kurusha. Yes, okay. Thank you, thank you.
na wengine hapo nyuma Sosho yuko yuko Ama okay hawa sosho wamekuja acha sosho arushe mchanga Thank you thank you Uncles and aunties, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Wala mbao wame umri ya 70 or 60 years, wame pitisha hapo. Sawa sawa, kama hakuna, hasa tumefungua. Oh, very good, kuna moja hapa.
by your body, turn to a right and salute. Dismiss. Wakati huu ni wakati wa kupanda msalaba. Kama kanisa tunapanda msalaba kwa sababu yule ambaye amepumzika ni mtu ambaye alileta kwa kanisa na akabatizwa. Na kwa hivyo ndio tunaweka ishara ya msalaba kuonyesha kwamba mtu huyu ni mtu huyu ambaye amebatizwa katika jina la Baba na Mwana na Roho Mtakatifu. Kwa hivyo kwa sababu ya vile ambavyo tuna kwa sababu ya vile tunampenda Yesu Kristo tunapanda msalaba huu katika jina la Baba na la Mwana na la Roho Mtakatifu. Sasa tunataka kuomba, nataka kuomba baraka alafu baada ya maombi ya mwisho tutaekelea maua na tuombe. Mungu mwenye enzi tunakushukuru na dhuhuri hii ya leo. Asanti kwa wema na fadhili zako. Asanti kwa sababu tulianza safari hii pamoja nawe. Asanti kwa sababu ya hapa ambapo umetufikisha. Asanti kwa sababu ya ibada yetu. Endelea Mungu kutukumbusha kwa kwamba usalama wa kweli unatoka kwako. Asanti kwa sababu ya kutufariji na kufariji familia hii. Naomba ya kwamba amani yako endelee kuwa juu yao, uendelee kuwashikilia, uendelee kupanguza machozi yao na kuwapa nguvu mpya kwa sababu unawapenda na ni watoto wako. Asanti kwa sababu wewe ndio mwanzo mpya na tunaomba ya kwamba uendelee kuwainua, uendelee kuwatendea mema. Na shukuru na kushukuru kwa sababu ya hawa ambao wamekuja ili tuweze kuomboleza pamoja kuwakumbuke kila mmoja wao uendelee kuwabariki uendelee kuwatendea mema Mungu mwenye enzi tunaomba ya kwamba katika safari yetu ya kurudi manyumbani uweze kutulinda kutufikisha manyumbani kwetu salama na tukifika tutaendelea kukusifu na kuliabudu jina lako na tunaomba haya katika jina la baba ala mwana na roho mtakatifu Amani ya Mungu ipitayo fahamu zote Walinde mioni na nia zenu katika hali ya kumjua na kumpenda Mungu na mwana wake Yesu Kristo Bwana wetu na baraka ya Mungu mwenye enzi Baba Mwana na Roho Mtakatifu iwe kwenu na ikae nanyi daima Amen Asanteni tumemaliza ibada yetu Mungu endelee kupatia amani na kuwafariji Asa ni wakati wa kupanda maua tutauliza mam, mam, mama ya mwangi aje Oh kodi kodi najifunza kwamba hata nijaribiwe nitabaki na wewe
Kwenye magumo Ukani kumbatia Sasa nime kutambua mungu wangu Katikati ya madui zangu Wewe ukani tetea Sasa nime kujua mungu wangu Ndugu zangu waliponikata 